And if those are missing, people do extreme measures from, you know, individual drug abuse, you know, because they're looking for comfort in these altered states, which if they want to do that, I think there's other options. And um, well, some of us but, are looking for uh, aliens in these altered states, Alan. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you don't need to state to find those aliens, right? You you found them and you weren't in an altered state. Or were you? Maybe you were. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, there, yeah, there's there's different ones <laughs> in different states. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, there's different there's ones a, in different states. See, that's the, the beauty and the complexity of it. You know, uh, you mentioned Terrence McKenna. And I, I yeah. love this quote because it was like a challenge quote to me, uh, him speaking on UFOs and ufology. And he would kind of talk down in a, just a little sleight of hand of like, he'd, and he'd say, you know, what we have in the drug community that you guys in the UFO community don't have is repeatability that we can take five grams of psilocybin mushrooms in the darkness and suddenly we're in front of the teachers and they come to us and the machine elves. And he would say that. And I would wonder how he would feel about the state of ufology now with CE5 initiatives and people like myself going out and being able to make contact. And it was a thing of repeatability. Can we go out? Can we meditate? Can we fast? Can we do whatever? to get them to show up to blink a certain amount of times or whatever this connection was and i think we did and are right we are we are getting repeatability my friend zinka caro has a whole making contact university where she has these radios that go off anytime there's a vehicle around and she's getting repeatability so also terence had a very significant ufo encounter in the jungles of, um, I think it was Brazil, where he wasn't high on mushrooms. He was very sober. Errol, do you know that account that he put out there? Um, um, it, I believe I've heard it, but just not, not right off. So he said this was the classic UFO sighting. It went from a cloud and it became a solid thing. And it looked like something from, uh, what's his name, uh, George Adamski's photo. And he said to him, and he's in the middle of the jungle witnessing this thing by himself. And it said it was such a classic UFO. It was like there was someone doing a movie around. But it was just him out there in the middle of nowhere. And he couldn't understand that. And he couldn't make sense of it. So one of the best things... Um, lines he came up with is that the ufo phenomena is showing up in its way because we can't handle what it's really about what's really going on here. it's like the real thing and maybe it's the stuff you're seeing coming out of the sun is so far out that all we can take in little pieces are these alien spaceships but that's not really really what it's about and it's about something way bigger and yeah, maybe drugs, altered states will give you a little glimpse. But I think I think our own DMT that's being generated in altered states and dream states, because that's when I've had my experiences. Oh, I'm with you. I definitely vouch for, for that, for sure. Yeah. Been so natural. it's coming. I mean, I think the, 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 the vibration of the planet is changing. I think things that were not obvious before, all the things that you said Jordan Maxwell talked about and all the things he clued people into 30, 40 years ago, many people are realizing that's changing the way we think about reality. It's opening doorways that maybe were only opened by drugs before, but perceptions are changing. Art, consciousness, um, the whatever's out there, the reality, more people having these dream experiences. And that's what's making a lot of people really um, on, on edge because they can't explain. And that's including the government. The government can't explain what's going on. So they'd rather just lie about it. And so we need to stand up for the truth. Like that's what you're doing. And 